You right guys, this is Game Boy Luke here and welcome back to more Pokemon Valley All-Star Elimination Lock. In the previous episode, we defeated Clay and we made our way to Charge Stone Cave. Now, I have no idea what's going on in here. I don't really remember this part or segment of the game at all. Um, so I'm lost. Honestly, it's very repel before we do anything. We oh, no, we already have repels going. Okay, cool. Um, I just want to say I am still ill. I am getting better and you can probably tell I'm getting better by the sound of my voice. Um, I feel like my sinuses in my back and my throat are clearing up. Um, my chest, I'm not coughing as much as I was. And I'm actually, I'm actually going to open this window because I am so hot. That's probably an intro video, introduce a video. Um, but no, yeah, my, I haven't been coughing as much. So I've been feeling a lot better. So I'm going to go ahead and record this episode of the Full Way All-Star Animation. So let's move on. Oh, wait, no, I remember a little bit of this. We have to push all these rocks and shit around. I actually do remember some of this. Some of this, anyway. Luke, do you know this? The floating stones move, move when you touch them. Right, Professor? Damn, what the hell are you doing here, Bianca? Uh, Tuna first one. Hi there, how are you, Luke? This place is always charged with lots of electricity that Pokemon like. The, ele the electricity, uh, the electric charges react from one stone to another, and that's why some of the stones are floating. But not all of the stones can be pushed. My father asked me to research Clink, which is a Pokemon that looks like a gear, because I'm researching the origins of Pokemon and something, I just missed that text. <laughs> he knows how to get what he wants from people, but I was already interested in this anyway, so it's a lot of fun. Oh yeah, Luke, this is for you. So how does- Oh! She gave us Lucky Eggs! Giving the Lucky Egg to a Pokemon to hold to increase his fuck experience points, which now reduces my grinding times and leveling up and shit. Oh my god, that is so useful. Give, tell me you gave me sick. Tell me you gave me six. Tell me you gave me sick. That's right. Gave me sick. Um, I love you. I take back everything I've ever said about you or to you because I literally have just, like, fallen in love with you. Nifty's kind of high level. Then he, oh, that quick claw came through though. But if we're that again, then again, if we're at a higher level, I guess when we go into battle, we can just put the quick claw back on Nifty. But this lucky egg, that is going to help us a great deal. That might even reduce our ren um, render times. I wish it would reduce my render times. <laughs> reduce our um, grinding times because we're gonna level up more during the episode. Let's go ahead and push this along. Uh, this is kind of dangerous, don't you think? Us, like, being able to stand on this electrical crap. Uh, do we have to push it this way? There we go. Awesome. So I just gotta try and remember my way through this place. I honestly don't quite remember. Yo, what's up? So people- actually, I just thought, people- There are gonna be a lot of steel and electric type Pokemon in here. So maybe, uh, using Espeon to lead with isn't the best idea. Cause we're gonna have, like, clinks and stuff, right? Yeah. Clang. Cling clang cling clang. One of the worst Pokemon I've ever seen in my life. I guess you can't really comp I can't really complain like after you see um like Voltorb and Magneton and stuff like that, it's kind of samey, but uh I, I'm not a fan of this Pokemon by any standard. You can use an X attack. Alright then. I mean you're not gonna be faster than me, I can just go flamethrower here and bop you, so that was a waste on your part. Goodbye. Mourner is too powerful. Mourner, the Entei is too powerful. Alright. So let's shift Entei up in first position because he can do the most work. I'm actually really tired right now. Like, as soon as I, I felt really energetic, but as soon as I start recording, I'm just like. Yawn. I'm actually gonna yawn. I'm gonna yawn. Oh my god. Okay, so we can't push these. Oh, he can. There you go. Picked up a revive. It's totally useful. I hate how it freezes you. I accidentally walked into that. I found a grass gem. That increases the grass type move. Don't have any of those. Okay. Oh, I have cut, but ain't nobody want to use cut. What the hell? We encountered a wild Pokemon. That's where our repels go in. Let me have a look. Oh, they ran out. Okay. I don't remember it telling me that, but... What's that? It's heal ball. Although we can't even use it. Um, push this, we push this, do we have to push it from the other side? Alright bruh, let's see your electric and steel type Pokemon and I'm gonna give you the work. So now walking around here, it <laughs> makes things so much difficult. Okay, you're actually gonna bring Axe you out, because I don't know where I'm going. I'm better at a game when I know where I'm going, but then again, I, I guess everyone can say that. So he's gonna bring out Axe you. I can't do shit to this thing. Uh, let's go for Stomp. Because it's literally the only move I can use against it that's going to be effective. Dragon Dance. Uh, 
I can tell you now, I'm not a fan of that. You're still not faster than me, though. There you go. I mean, it's only an Axio at the end of the day. There's nothing to be worried about. I'm gonna get a boosted experience. I Dragonair. Let's go into... Let's go into Shady. Let's go into Shady right now. Because Delibird's gonna put in all the work. And we're just gonna be able to go for the uh, Ice Punch. I'm sure we're faster than a Dragonair. Uh, Ice Punch should take this thing out. And I, I actually forgot to mention this, but in the grinding montage, yes, on the, on the previous episode, sorry, Shady tried to learn Seed Bomb. Now I'm thinking Seed Bomb's a pretty good move because I can get rid of water types for that, but unfortunately I want to keep Technician in check. I still want to be able to use that and have Ice Punch and Acrobatics at the same time. So, because uh, um, Acrobatics does actually get boosted by Technician if we are not holding an item. No, if we are holding an item, sorry, because ac Acrobatics is 55, and I'm pretty sure that... Um, Acrobatics does 55 damage before if, if, you, if, you, if you're holding an item and if you're not it does 110 so we're actually getting um, technician boost from just the standard Acrobatics alright so let's push can I push this rock? no I can't I'm pretty sure there's items under some of these I think but, a hiker explore, I'm a hiker exploring the caves I'll teach you the hardships of life and difficulty and Pokemon blah, 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 blah. no one cares ain't nobody care about your hinky dinky traveling ass. Bronzong, hello. Okay, so now Bronzong can have either one or two abilities. It can have Heat Proof or it can have uh, Levitate. Now, obviously, as the name suggests, Heat Proof is like more resistance to a uh, fire attack. So it's like a thick fat, but for steel types. So I might not kill it. Nah, I have a feeling he's got Steel Proof. So I'm going to take that Gyro Ball though. We gotta go for Flamethrower. Now, I hate Bronzong and Bronzor because they were absolute asses to us in the uh, diamond playthrough. Having to bullet seed those things was an absolute nightmare. Alright, Caracosta. Uh, a grass move would sort you out. Unfortunately, we don't have any of those. Let's go into Rotom and we'll just use Shockwave. I literally need to get this thing into Rotom Wash form. ASAP. And for those of you that are wondering uh, about Rotom not being shiny, uh, I unshinied him when we changed his ability back to Levitate. Because I prefer the standard Rotom. I don't know why I made it shiny. I just prefer the standard Rotom color because he has the um, he has like the blue outline instead of the uh, the, the really like beigey color outline. I just like the uh, I like the blue outline, and that's what the the Rotom Game Boy form has. It's not shiny or anything. It's just a standard Rotom. I don't actually like the shiny Rotom at all. So there you go. There you go. That's the reason I changed it back. All right, so he's got Relicanth. I'm pretty sure I updated it in the sidebars as well, that Rotom's color changed. I just, I just like I said, it's just a preference of color. It's like looking at Espeon, who, who, who really likes a green Espeon? I, whose idea was that? Whose idea was that? Wasn't my idea, that's for sure. I mean, it would have been cool to have like a light blue Espeon, I think that would have been kind of cool. Like the blue on, on Rotom's Thunderbolts now, that would have been kind of cool. Or a black Espeon. Oh. Maybe like with Espeon and Umbreon, like, actually I like Umbreon shiny form, I don't want to mess around with that, but imagine an Espeon, a black Espeon, that would be cool as fuck. That would be awesome. That would be awesome. Okay, so let's go ahead and move down here. Uh, across a bridge. Hello! Dot dot dot. Come. God, these guys walk so weirdly. There are stairs going down ahead. Team Plasma is waiting for you there. It's not like I was gonna walk across this bridge anyway. You, just, you didn't really need to like necessarily just, you know, shift me across the bridge. Okay, Team Plasma. All right, so I'm gonna fight this Team Fennel doppelganger. She has Durant, which is actually perfect because I let off Vente, and Flamethrower is gonna bop you. And like looking at the levels of the trainers, I'm kind of worried about what the next gym leader is going to be like. Because if these are these are like almost on par with me, why would you use X Special on a Duran? It's still bug. That's about to get bot. Wait, is that sturdy? No, it doesn't have either. I swear, it has like either that like loafing around one truant. Damn, we're getting 3k experience for that. I will take it. Ferrothorn. Oh, I love Ferrothorn. Damn, this sprite is weird in this game. I guess it's like emulating the fact they can like he's hanging from a tree or something, and like in X and Y, I, 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 X and Y, he's like using those to stand up, which is kind of cool. There you go, there you go, there you go, there you go. All right, so let's shimmy down here because they said they were downstairs. And the music cut out for a second there for some reason. Uh, what are you guys doing here? We're the Nugget Brothers. I'm the big brother. 
And I am the little brother of Nugget uh, No, freaking out, that's a mouthful. <laughs> Glad you showed up, I want to give you this. I also got a nugget. I don't know if we can sell nuggets in this game. Don't we, like, have to give them to someone special? I don't even know. Well, repels what? Why is it not doing, like, the press... I swear it, like, did this thing where you can... Automatically re replace, replace the repel you just used by asking you. I don't get what's going on. It's whatever. Alright, so do we have to go up these stairs? The music keeps cutting out when I walk up shit as well. Found a HP up underneath this rock. Because they usually hide stuff like that underneath there. Didn't mean to walk in that. Nothing over there, so let's go back down the stairs. We've gone the wrong way. Uh, we did. Let's go have to go this way. Alright, let's have a look. What's oh, a Pokeball. There's Team Plaza members. Alright, we're definitely in the right place. Alright. This kicks my ass, so I'm going to shift uh, Espion into first position, I think. Because I normally have poison type Pokemon, so let's go. I've also got a text by those things. Or is that an email? It's Facebook. Ain't nobody care about Facebook. People inviting you to stupid shit. Like, I'm just going to go and invite you to freaking Candy Crush, because that's a great game. I'm going to invite you to Meow Chat, because that's also a great game. And I'm just like, no, it's not. Can you shut up, please? Block. Alright, so he set out Crocorock, which isn't good for us, clearly. Uh, we have nothing for this thing. Let's go to Nifty. Nifty! I require assistance. Dem, 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 dem. If we can easily just break, break this thing. He's gonna dig. Now, I don't even know if I'm fast in this thing, but I'm gonna go for Dragon Dance because, yeah, I am faster. I'd rather do something than nothing, and Dragon Dance will increase my stats, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, he's gonna dig. I should be able to eat that up. I need Drain Punch, honestly. I already need Drain Punch. Let's go ahead and use Brick Break. But now I would learn Sucker Punch if it was a, if this was a um like a competitive set. But I know Scrafty doesn't learn uh, Sucker Punch in the normal game. He has a Scrafty himself. We're gonna have to put Nifty up against Scrafty right here. This thing's not even a threat because we have the Dragon Dance up plus two attack. Goodbye. Uh, Scrafty is a threat because the high jump kicks are scary as, scary as hell. I got the hiccups now. But it's glad he's got we got rid of that thing. Would have been a nightmare if we couldn't kill it in one hit. Now 49 Nifty. Nifty's almost level 50. That's really good. That's really good. So next that, that's Pokemon's a watch hog. Plus one, one, one speed, three, plus three attack. If we can get you to level 59, like now, that would be awesome. Let's say 59, I'm at level 50. I want to get him to level 50 as soon as possible. I mean, obviously, I know I'm not going to level up now, but it'd be cool if we could get him to level 50 for the next gym. I don't even know what the next gym is. What is it? Is it water? If it's water, then Rotom's going to have a field day. Alright, let's keep going. I hope we don't have more, like, Crocorocks and crap. That would be annoying. I'm still bunged up. Can you hear it? God damn it. Alright. Please have something that a Psybeam can bop, because I want to get Espeon up a few levels. I want to get um, Rotom Thunderbolt as well. Electric. Dude, this thing is powerful. If this thing has crunch, I do feel I'm going to have a problem. Ooh, he does have crunch. Ah, oh, we're good. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. I can't believe he survived that much HP. But I really like Electros. I really do. It's one. Of, I think that's got to be one of my favorite Pokemon. Electros is badass. Alright, so, Bennett. Okay, so let's go into a Dark type. Let's go into... Nifty, I guess? We had quite low on HP. Should we go into Mourner? Let's go into Mourner. Because we can go for Bite. Even though it's not super... Actually, we could just probably just go for Flamethrower. That'd be more effective on this thing. But I never really liked Bennett. His sprite looks kind of cool in this game, actually. Um, in third gen, I wasn't a huge fan of it. It just felt like one of those useless... Ghost type Pokemon, but when it got Mega Evolution, it was made viable, and the Mega Evolution looks awesome as fuck. It's sick, dude. It's amazing. Uh, Crawdorn, that's a problem. If you go for Crunch or something on Rotom, that's a dead Rotom. Go to Nifty, I guess. That's the only Pokemon we've got really got to deal with it. Nifty literally is the only thing that covers all of our weaknesses. It's so bad because this thing carries the team. So if we lost him, I think I would definitely be upset. That's a dead Crawdon, obviously. Nifty's too powerful. That's a crit as well. Chris, <laughs> Nifty coming through. Nifty just comes through and just... <laughs> He's too good. He's almost level 50. Not bad. 
Okay. So let's go ahead and just go ahead and just go ahead. Have we got any... Running out of hyper potions right now, actually. I don't want to use them particularly, but... Hopefully we'll get out of here soon and we can buy some more. I just load the trainers. There's loads of trainers in here. Pokemon learning this charge can scale okay over so I can't read what is English. I, I'm tired and stuff. All right. I need to get some more like fluid water and stuff. Pornyard. All right, we can't deal with that either with um with Espeon. So I guess gonna have to go into Nifty. Now we can we can probably take this thing out with um with Morna because we can just flame throw this thing. Steel type and everything. Easy deal with it. So, is it for assurance? Let me that up. Man, 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 man. And I'm gonna catch you with this flamethrower. That's gonna destroy your life. And I melt the armor right off of you. Alright. Scraggy. So, the last guy had the Scrafty and freaking Crocorock, and you have a Scraggy. I'm not saying Scraggy is a bad Pokemon, but I'm just saying Scrafty and. Crocorock are like evolutions and you're bringing all the baby Pokemon. Cacturn, hello! That's perfect for me. That's perfect for me because I can just flamethrow you. Bop. Alright, so that's a dead Cacturn. Sorry, Shady. And I'm going to level up off that. Sick. If I can get everyone to level 50 by the next gym, I reckon that might be okay. I need to check the paper. Someone said, actually, they commented. I have a really itchy, like, nose. Um... Someone commented that they were on, like, they didn't want me to lose the lock, but at the same time they wanted me to be like, um, they wanted to see my reactions for the gym leaders. And I agree with you, so I don't think I will be looking at the paperwork. <laughs> this is, well, I'm, I'm probably end up over leveling and stuff, just to, to make up for that. But I do I do like surprise the, the surprise as well, and I could ruin the surprise for myself if I look at the paperwork or the documentation rather. So just for that guy. And I'm sure the rest, the rest of you like that idea as well. So we're not gonna, um, not we're not gonna use that. We're not gonna use documentation to help us or anything. What's that? What's this part of your nose called? It's called the septum. Because I know some people get it pierced, but it's really itchy right now. It's weird as hell. All right, Garbodor, get out of my face. Finally, Espion is useful in this. In, he finally is his team plasma members. Learn Psychic. Last resort. What does that do? 140 powers of physical move, now I'm not okay. Uh, keep on moves, give up. I know you can run like fake out last resort on an ambipom and it's powerful as fuck. I know that's a thing. 140 base power, I, I can't imagine how strong that would be because ambipom is powerful as it is. I've, I've seen that thing and I've used that thing and it is amazing. So uh, last resort, 140 power life orb. That's power. I might need to get myself one of those. There are so many Team Plants members in this place. Your thumbnail is just gonna be like stacks of, stacks of like Team Plants members. Actually, I don't have, I don't have art for doing this. So I mean, screenshot around this area will probably be good. Cause like, you see so many of them hiding in the corners and shit. Jabak! I can't do a good, I can't do a good, uh, a good Arbok voice. Jabak! Ja! I just remember, shot. I just remember Arbok from the anime. Jesse's Arbok, dude, when they let go of the Arbok and the freaking wheezing, I was touching. I was touching stuff. Alright, Valplume. These this is perfect for Mo right now. Mo is just gonna sweep the floor of these, uh, these poison type Pokemon. I just wish I had Psychic. I just wish I had Psychic, because Side Beam's not the best move. And I also need to find out where the move deleter is, because I need to get rid of Cut. Honchcrow, okay, we can't deal with that. Well we can. If I wanted to deal with it, I could. But it's got um more than likely. Gonna use Sucker Punch or something. Cause I have, I have Power Gem to deal with that, but all right, Honchcrow. I'm probably faster than using for Ice Punch. Uh, I know Honchcrow is very, very frail, so I should be able to take that. Um, take, take, take it down with one Ice Punch. There you go. See you later. There you go. Shady coming through, and Shady has the nicest experience gain of the whole team. He gains so much experience of beating like one Pokemon. It's it's marvelous. It's simply marvelous. Why can I not? I only have one super repel left. Maybe it's because I got multiple repels in my bag. Let's try it. Oh my god! We could have used that on Electabuzz. We could have used that on Electabuzz. I'm pretty sure it's a use item in this game. 
Yeah, it's a use item. So right here, we would have evolved our Electabuzz into Electivire. Rest in peace, Virgil. Rest in peace, bro. Damn, that would have been so nice to have. A motor drive Electivire. I would have been, I would I would have welcomed that. I would have welcomed that right now. Explode. Damn. Got a big mouth. Look at it. It's like, no! Alright, um, we need to switch out. Let's go into Nifty, because Nifty can take all the hits. So if this guy thing wants to hyper voice me. Or I don't think I but a boom burst isn't a thing in this game, so. We're good on that front. If I break break this and I kill it, I might level up here. Not of our first level 50 Pokemon. So we multiply our levels by 10 with this Pokemon. Surely has to level up. After luck with the lucky egg? Not even. Not even. Oh, we switched out, of course. We switched out, of course. Actually, I should probably go downstairs and check down what's that check what's down there, but ha having a team plasma member here makes me think that this is the right way. Because why would a plasma member be guarding an empty hallway? So. I just beat you real quick. You're gonna send out a Garbodor. My favorite Pokemon to take down with a with an Espeon. I'm not even gonna lie to you. So get this as well. I bought um just just now because I live in the UK. Buying awesome things is hard because there's no decent shops or anything like that in this country. Um, so I went and bought uh, a bag from America, um, and I went and bought a uh, it's a it's a Game Boy bag. I'm, I'm just gonna come out with it. It's a bag. It's a bag, but the bag part is a Game Boy. That thing was made for me. I had to get it because if I go to Eurogamer, I'm just going to be walking around wearing a Game Boy bag and it's going to be perfect. It's <laughs> You're going to spot me from a mile away because it's just like, hey, is that Game Boy? Look, he's, he's got a Game Boy on his back. <laughs> it's sick. I, I just loved it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And um, I don't know how long it's going to take to get here actually. So Hopefully it gets it by Eurogamer. I think Eurogamer is in like a month and a half or so. Or actually, it's like a, it's like um just under two months away. Because it's at the end of September, so. And if you guys go into that, if you guys go into that, let me know. I would love to meet up. Honestly. I don't even know how many of you would like to meet up with me. I don't even know if any of you are going to Eurogamer, but it would be sick to meet up with some of you. I don't know what the plan is for doing it all, but I sh I'll be there with um the one integral. Boxify, uh, Munetics is meant to be going. Uh, there are a couple of smaller YouTubers like the Lunar Game HD, Relu2010, those lot are going as well. Uh, Munetics is also going, like I said. Uh, who else? I don't remember, I don't remember, I don't remember, I don't remember. Um, I don't remember, I don't remember. The Exiles, a pair of Exiles are going. Uh, da -da 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 -da. I don't think I know anybody else. Unfortunately, Patters and Callum aren't coming because they live up north. And that is miles away from London, so they can't make that sort of trip. Holy fuck. A guy just used hammer arm and it scared the hell out of me because I thought I was going to die. I know a brick break will, will kill this thing now, but I don't want to risk it. I can't switch any... I know Brick Break will kill it, but I swear to God, I swear to God, if this does not kill this Rhydon. Right, we're good. That hammer arm scared me. If he landed another one of those, that was a dead nifty. Jesus Christ. Level 50, a e. Awesome. All right, so that's you defeat. I, I do think when we've gone off track slightly because we're not having to face any plasma members now. They're just normal trainers. So I'm guessing these are just like, items and stuff. So I might go back. I don't think this is the way we need to go for story stuff. There's probably a load of items that I can't use. So I may just turn around here. Farfetch! Farfetch! I can do Farfetch voice. Farfetch! 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 Uh, let's go ahead and switch into... I know that actually, take it back, this thing's fighting type in this game. I know it's fighting type, so we can just side beam this. Right? Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Farfetch! I'm a level 50 on Mo as well now, which is awesome. Let's go ahead and train someone else up. Arcanine. Let's go to God. Because we have uh, Ancient Power on this guy. Take down all the fire types. 
All right, says so, so. Are you gonna be that guy? Honestly? Wow, you're just gonna sit here and stall the fuck out of me. Do not run out of morning suns. Run out of morning suns, bitch. Run out of morning suns, bitch. Sit here and stall me out, you stupid little fucker. Alright, let's go into Rotom. I want to see Rotom. I want to see some. I want to see Rotom put in some work. Did you notice? I also throw the, uh, the Rotom out in the Luxury Ball, which is actually my favorite Pokeball because Luxury Ball is amazing. Hopefully, this Hypno doesn't have some stupid move like Shadow Claw or Shadow Ball or Psycho. Oh god, that might hurt. There we go. Rotom is such a frail Pokemon, I'm just scared to use him. I don't want to lose I don't want to lose him. I don't want to lose him. That's why I, that's why I'm waiting to get the Rotom wash form. I really want the Rotom wash form. <laughs> Alright, let's heal up. Let's see, let's heal up. Let's have a look. The music seems really slow, is it just me? Oops. We have like one high potion left, that's kind of worrying. Let me pick a high potion up, not bad. I am actually just gonna back out of here. I don't wanna battle any more trainers just because of the lack of high potions. So let's go this way. Let's see. What's going on down here? There's another trainer over there. N? <gasps> oh, we got battle N. Dude, okay, I think I'm gonna end this episode off here because we're about to fight N and I wanna save that for the start of the next episode. So if you haven't enjoyed this episode, guys, please do leave a like rating and a comment. The like goal for this episode is 400 likes, so if you could hit that like goal, that'd be amazing. And I guess I'll catch you in the next episode. We'll be facing off against N again. See you guys then.